going on, boys? Back at the works. Well, there's some progress on the uh, Bakuda, the muscular dystrophy group build. I suppose I should put my my flyer out. What the hell I do with it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Muscular dystrophy awareness group build put on by Scotty over at Saltwater. Saltwater. What is it? Saltwater scale models. Saltwater scale models. Uh, a little paint down on the motor. Now that all the chaos is over for the weekend. Thought uh, thought I was going to the hospital Saturday. <laughs> I was doing a little vacuuming in the uh, end of the vac. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I was vacuuming, Jeff. Yes, I help out my wife when I can. But anyway, I got a little, uh, the end of the vac sometimes gets plugged up, you know, hair and cat hair and my wife's hair. An occasional mustache hair from me. <laughs> but anyway, I was cleaning and had to take it apart and pull the little roller out and cut all the uh, hairs off. And I was using a... I got a little Swiss Army knife upstairs. It's got a little pair of scissors on it. So I was sitting at the kitchen table upstairs and cutting the little hairs off the roller. And I dropped them. I dropped the scissors. Well, I felt them bump. You know, they bumped off my leg and then hit the, hit the floor. And I kicked back to look down to see where they went. And my foot was in a pool of blood. I look at my leg... And somehow the scissors must have gone into me. But I got I got blood literally coming out of the side of my leg like there's a bubbler on. I was like, you were, I'm like, I, I couldn't believe it. My foot was in, my whole sneaker was covered. My sock was was literally all red. Big, big puddle of blood on the floor. Thank God the wife, the wife was out, she was outside doing a little, little uh, yard work. And so she had just come in to get some water, and thank God she did, because I'm like, come here. Said, come in. I go, bring some paper towels. And she's like, what's the matter? I go, what's the matter? I go, look. Oh, go. Oh, we're going to the hospital. I said, we're not going to the hospital. Well, let's see what's the matter first. So I just saw pressure on her for a while, and uh, I got it to stop. So uh, I sent her down here to get some uh, super glue. And we super glued it. But you should have seen that thing bleed. I'm not kidding you. The blood was coming out this far from the little cut. So all I can think of is that the side of the scissors that don't move must have caught me just right. And went in. And it must have gone in kind of deep. But it was that quick. It was like that. I dropped them. I went to book down. And I was like, oh, my God. Jesus. A little, uh, that'll get your blood moving, so to speak. Thank God I'm not on blood thinners. I would have bled out. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that was exciting. That was Saturday morning. So, I super, like I said, I super glued it, put the band-aid on it. The only thing I'm worried about is uh, the bandage being super glued to my leg now. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a few days uh, before I go to try to pry this bandage off. And see what's up. I mean, it don't hurt or nothing, but I just could not believe, believe the way the thing was bleeding. Good God. Oh. All right, but anyway, we got that. I got some paint down. These are just preliminary colors. These are, uh, this going to be the frame and stuff. And then I got a little black. I'm going to be painting a little black. Uh, we might have a little uh, matte green. Uh, I painted the, got the motor going over here, this is the, the coil, and of course, where I got the toothpick, I took one of these, if I can forget it, I took one of these and, and drilled it out 
and that is my coil. And then you guys, I, I showed you guys what I did with the distributor. All right. And then I'm doing Gary G's method of uh, putting the wires in. I think it was Gary. Puts them in underneath from underneath. I kind of like that idea. And then, of course, I put the boots on. That is, I still got to put some uh, some CA glue on that to hold that all together. But I'm hoping that the motor will be together today. Then I can lay down my other paint. Uh, I think the body's going to be green. So I think I'm going to be using going to be using that. That's the color. So I think the body's going to get painted that color. So that's where we are, fellas. Like I said, hopefully I can get this. Uh, want to try to get this motor together today. Well, you know, get it, get it mostly together. I'm going to wait for the paint to set up a little bit. But other than that, the lazy bones over in the box hasn't moved all day. Jesus, I'm telling you. Probably have to take a nap from taking a nap. Uh, a little progress on the Franken build. I got my, uh, my back on the plant. So, this whole thing pops right out. Take that right out and just pop it right back in again. Uh, so, and I got some, she's going to be sitting like that. I got all my, I got the cab on, I got it all lined up where it, she's all glued in. Um, but this has been, uh, this is getting put on the back burner for now. I want to, I want to get this, uh, I want to get this, this card done. Because I got to start the, uh, Coral Sea build. And then we got Fred Henry's, uh, Chevy truck month coming up. So I got, I got one for that. So we got to get a move on here, boys. Let's talk more work. <laughs> All right, but there we are, there we are. Not a bad day here today, kind of cool, but no rain. It's all right, we'll take it. It'll be 100 degrees and humid soon enough, so. But uh, that's where we are, so. All right, boys, enjoy. Take care, peace out.